Access LT and XQuery, while powerful, can sometimes be a bit complicated to debug. In addition to its already robust debugger, XML Spy now includes backmapping. Backmapping is a powerful new feature which will reduce the time needed to debug transformations. When you enable backmapping in XML Spy, XSLT transformations and XQuery executions will be carried out so that the output documents can be mapped back onto the original files. To demonstrate how backmapping works, open the expense report XML example that is included with XML Spy and change to text view. Next, click on the Enable Backmapping button on the toolbar. A dialog will appear confirming that you want to enable backmapping and provide you with the option to tile document windows after the transformation. With backmapping now enabled, perform an XSL transformation by pressing the XSL transformation button on the toolbar. XML Spy will execute the transformation with backmapping enabled and display the original XML and XSLT files along with the output of the transformation. In the browser view, you can hover over any field in the document and immediately see the originating fields highlighted. Change to text view and you can view the same information by clicking on a segment in the output file. The second example utilizes a transformation that drives the company page on the Altova website. I will follow the same steps as I did in the expense report example to execute this transformation with back mapping enabled. As I scroll through the output document on the right, you can see that the source XML is highlighted along with the lines of XSL that drive the transformation. In addition to XSL transformations, the backmapping feature in XML Spy also works with XQuery executions. In this last example, I will open a set of documents which simulates a forest fire. Running an XQuery execution with backmapping enabled is similar to a transformation, the difference being that you will instead click on the XQuery Update Execution button on the toolbar. In this example, the input document on the left contains the initial location of foliage in fires. The XQuery document in the center contains a list of rules which determine how fires will move and extinguish. The output file contains the results of this simulation. If I scroll through the output file, I am able to locate a line that did not change during the execution, as well as one that did. Backmapping, combined with existing debuggers and profilers, makes XML Spy the most advanced tool for XSLT and XQuery development. Learn more by downloading a free 30-day trial from altova.com.